Hello YouTube, the Krosama, and today we're going to take a look at many of the kits that's going to be released in January, just so that way you can have a firm understanding of what's going to be released, so if you want to buy it, you can, if not, then you won't. You're doing a great job, Crow. Keep it up. Uh, so anyways, uh, we're just going to take a look at some of these kits. The first uh, amount of kits is really just going to be primarily Bandai. <laughs> oh, Crow, you crack me up. Okay, so uh, a few of the kits that we're going to take a look at are going to be Gunpla related. Uh, some of them are not going to be Gunpla, they might actually be a little bit more into the DBZ realm. Uh, but nonetheless, I definitely want to take a look at a lot of these kits. Good job, you just gained a subscriber. You know what, Steve, you want to you wanna host it? You want to you wanna, you wanna host this? You for real? I'll do it. Yeah, yeah, I'm 100% serious. You can host this if you want. Alright. Go on. Okay, so I'm your special host for the evening. Uh, the first kit we're going to take a look at is the Haropla Mobile Haro. Jesus Christ, this thing is trash. So it has a release date of January 12th and a price tag of about 1,200 yen. Yeah, this is, a, this is a hard pass. Yeah, I would, I would actually have to agree with you. And next is going to be the high grade R Jiraiya. Uh, it's coming out on January 12th and coming in at about 2,000 yen. Uh, big red mobile suit. I mean, there's not really much to add on to that. Um, I honestly don't think it's it's that bad to be honest. I mean, it's it's a little bit up there in price uh, for a high grade that I really don't care about. But I guess for most people, they they're probably gonna enjoy it. So I don't know. It's really up in the air. It comes you know comes out in a couple of weeks. So. We'll, we'll, we'll definitely see, it's in my radar, but it's probably in the low spectrum of my radar. And next we're gonna have the high grade Ayami Petite Guy. No. No. Crow, do you care about any of these Star Wars kits? Nah, we can, we can pass on those. Alright, moving on. Alright Crow, since I know you like shirtless guys, this one's for you. This is the Figure Eye Standard Ultra Instinct Goku. Uh, this is obviously a pass for me. Well, um... Yeah, I'm probably gonna get this. And next we're gonna have is the SD Zero Maru Shinkig Show about something. Crow, what, what is your thoughts on this? Yeah, it's a pass for me, honestly. It's it's just a green Zero Maru. It has a couple of add-ons, a couple of different aesthetics, but it's a, it's a hard pass. What are you doing with that drink, Crow? Stop it. Crow, there is no drinking on my show. Stop it. Stop it right now. Put put it down. Don't you put it in your mouth. Don't you dare. Oh, god damn it. Alright, next is gonna be the high grade Gypsy Avenger. That's a no for me. Nah. Alright, now you got the MG Sananju Stein narrative version. Now, this is an expensive bad boy. Uh, Crow, your take on it? Honestly, I'm kind of intrigued, especially since it's a normal release. I could have sworn it was a P Bandai. Um, but, I mean, hell, it. I don't know. It's, it, it might be in the cards. We'll see. Can, can you get off your phone? Crow, this, this is rude. Crow, I would never. I would never do something like this to you. And next is going to be the high grade build divers, GBN Base Gundam. This is obviously an inferior model myself, and it's trash. I am the superior. You know, I don't think it looks that bad. I, I'm actually pretty intrigued by the design. Maybe the color is a little bit too bright in my opinion. Maybe I'll paint it, maybe I won't, we'll definitely see. But hey, it has a lot of great posability, some good weapons, so that's kind of a plus. Alright, next you got one of those figure eyes, naked guy, like shirtless dude brawlies. Crow, I see you just squirming with excitement, so let us in on it. Well, I I definitely would like to get this kit because I, I wanted the original Broly, but this one looks pretty dope, so I'm more than likely going to pick this up because I'm just I'm picking up the other uh, Goku figure eye standard kit anyway, so I might as well pick this one up as kind of a little package deal. All right, next you got some power tool weapons or whatever the hell it is. Uh, Crow, you're are you interested at all at all in it? Nah, I'm not really interested in the weapon set. Yeah, that was actually a pretty short list, so January looks pretty pretty simple. I'm probably gonna just get the figure eye standard stuff. 
uh, maybe a kit, but I think all in all, I'm just going to be picking up uh, maybe three or four kits and moving on to a lot of the backlog because there's so many kits in that backlog that need to get attended to. So I would definitely love a very slow month, which is going to be January. Just so that way I can focus on dwindling down everything in the backlog, but more than likely I'm going to keep adding things to it and uh, keep building as slow as I am, but hopefully that changes in the new year. But other than that guys, uh, definitely appreciate everyone for watching, uh, appreciate Steve for dropping by, and uh, as always guys, please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy this content, and I'll be seeing y'all in the next video. Bye bye. Alright guys, so you heard what Crow said, it's time to go. But if you can, subscribe and uh, check out more of my videos. Bye bye.